continuing to follow the aftermath of the protest in downtown Louisville last night, which started peacefully, but ended with seven protesters being shot by others who were in the crowd. One of those seven is now listed in critical condition. LAX 18's Claire Kopsky has been tracking developments in this story from Louisville all morning, and she brings us the latest now live from Louisville once more with the latest. Chris and Dia, good afternoon. As Kentuckians woke up this morning, everyone has been trying to grapple with the events that happened on this street, Jefferson Street in downtown Louisville. Hundreds of protesters gathered here last night and into the early hours of this morning to protest the death of Brianna Taylor, who was shot and killed in her own home back in March. The protests last night started peacefully, but then graffiti and small fires and trash cans began. That's when Louisville Metro Police say they had to get involved. Police say many windows downtown were broken into as bricks were thrown through them. As the tensions rose through the hours of protests last night and into the morning, police also say two officers were taken to the hospital for chest pains. The situation escalated even more when shots were fired into the crowd by other crowd members, leaving seven with injuries. Louisville police say that right now there are no leads on the shooter. Throughout the morning, city crews scrubbed the vandalism off buildings, a statue and picnic tables. Also this morning, the mayor of Louisville reviewed several changes the city is making, such as naming a new police chief, and today he began the process of creating a civilian review board. But as Brianna's family shared last night, answering violence with violence only makes things worse. I want to really thank them for helping us to work to restore peace. You can imagine the pain that they are having as a family right now, and yet they are still, con still concerned about the safety of our community. I thank the family. They're right. The fight for justice cannot be won with guns and vandalism. It can only be won with persistence and commitment to the shared goal of creating a city of peace. Here in Louisville, police say they are aware more protests are planned for this weekend, and they say they are considering bringing more agencies in from other cities around the state. Live in Louisville, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News.